Hello friends, in this video we will see how we can work with DZ software. DZ 4.91, this version is compatible with Windows 7, 8 and 10. If we wanted to create a new project, we should click here. If we wanted to open one of the projects in our system, we can click here and open an existing project. I select one of my projects in my system. In this project, we can access the relay in this folder, double click. You can see we have two relays in this station, plus uh, we have IT6 on the station, and we can configure them. If we wanted to add new relays to our project, right click in a blank space, the project, see protect device. From the catalog, we should select one of the relays. For example, I selected this, then you should simply drag and drop. Then you should fill this in the left V and then click OK, it will add to our project. Now I don't want to add, I don't want to just show. Let me open one of the relay in my project 7SJ, which is the overcurrent relay. Offline, select offline because we don't want to connect to the relay. In offline mode setting device configuration is to configure the main functions of the relay. Here we selected 7SJ which is the overcurrent so we can access the overcurrent functions. We can set these functions. Mass picking in input and output, we can configure the input and output of the relay, whether it is a virtual or it is a real one and hardware. Default display, we can change the default display in the front panel SVD. Control display, we can change the control command from the front panel LCD. CFC is a flexible tool that we can define new functions and compile and then send it to relay. We can use it in interlocking for example. Power system data, we can set the parameter of the power system, for example, CTPT ratio and the other settings related to the power system. There are different setting group in the relay. Here we have four setting group. Setting group A, setting group B, setting group C, setting group D. This group is because we wanted to change the settings sometimes with different conditions. For example, in winter we wanted to set some settings to the relay and in summer we wanted to set another setting to the relay. So we can set the winter settings in group A and in summer settings in group B. Then we can change the active setting group by change group. We can change the active group either manually or configuration with binary input. Also, the graphic port recorders. We can access the settings of the port recorders in this. 
for how long the data of the poll should be recorded when it is start and then it is stop so the settings is here general device settings we can access the general settings here for example we can access the settings if a fault happen in a relay what should uh, we have in the front panel time synchronization is the settings for the time synchronization interfaces is for communication Password, we can change the password, we can active or deactive the password. Language, we can change the language. Additional function, we can access the additional function if it is available. Annunciation, we can access the report and logs. Measurements, we can access the measured value, primary, secondary, and other measurement value. Also, the graphic fault recorder, we can access the recorded fault, recorded event in the relay, then we can analyze it in Sigra software. If you double click on that, if you are online, there are some events here, we can click on that, we can see the event. Thank you for watching. Please follow our channel, we will upload it more videos. In the next video we will go to the online mode, we will inject voltage and current to the relay and we will see the result. Have a good time, bye.